What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. VAZ. I'm back in the building. Welcome back to Food Delivery Stories. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Um, real quick, Burger King. I know you saw the picture with the X on it. Um, I don't pick up from Burger King anymore. A few weeks ago, I stopped picking up. Um, all the Burger Kings in my area suck, to be quite honest. The workers, the majority of the workers suck. It's just a, it just sucks, and the offers I get from there ain't that good anyway, and it doesn't hurt me from not picking up from there anymore. But one of the reasons I stopped picking up from there was it's always attitude. Uh, even though a lot of fast food places have attitude, but Burger King is like the worst. Um, every time I go, the tablet wasn't charged, so they didn't supposedly never got the order. They would have the tablet turned off. I would have to read the order, and it was like a whole issue that I would have to wait for them to pretty much make it because supposedly they never got it because they don't really pay attention to it. Pretty much, they don't care about delivery orders, pretty much. So what got me over the top of definitely not picking up from them anymore, especially the one by my house, um, it was a few weeks ago. I, I had already ate dinner. My girl didn't eat dinner. She was in the mood for a Whopper meal. So I said, I'll drive you. So I went to the one that the only one that I pick up from, right? So I'm in a drive through pretty simple. I'll take a Whopper meal with cheese, medium fries or a Sprite. Okay. It was a guy that gave the order. He's actually a good worker because I've seen him work. Um, he's pretty cool. But when I get there, it was a, a girl there. So she was saying something about, it's not my order, this is your order, I guess, to the guy. I guess he was doing something else that took our order. So she cashes me out. And uh, she had like, a little attitude, so I was like, well, they were brushed it off. Um, I said thank you after she gave me a receipt in my card. Nothing. She didn't say nothing. So she gives me a little bag, says, have a good night. And I'm like, I need my Sprite because it was a combo meal. So she had a little attitude and she got my Sprite. Then I'm like, can I get a few ranch sauces? She's like, we don't give out a lot of ranch sauces depending on the nuggets you order. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, I never ordered nuggets. We ordered a Whopper meal. Like, I don't get it. So she had an attitude. She gives it to me. I say thank you again. I'm about to drive out, and I guess my girl caught her. My girl's like, yo, she's making a face at you. And like, it looks like she's like yelling at us. So I turn around, and I got her towards the end. And she walked away with like that look. Like... I like a fuck you look, pretty much. I ain't the one for that. I hit, I went all the way back around the drive through pulled up to the window. As soon as I pulled up to the window, her face dropped. She's like, she was about to cry, and I even said nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't like people that they act like they hard, and when somebody comes back around, you ain't that tough person like you thought you was. Be yourself. Don't, don't be something you're not. So I go there, she disappears. And this goof comes in, Captain Savaho. He, I'm like, yo, I need to talk to your manager. And my fries, coincidentally, my fries wasn't even filled up halfway. I was like, what the fuck? So I tell him, I need my fries filled up. Oh, I can't do that. I'm like, why can't you do that? It was not even filled up. I was just here, not even 10 seconds ago. I'm like, what's the problem? Can you get the manager? So he leaves. The girls disappeared in sight. I can't see her. He comes back with a bag of fries and has the nerves to tell me, my man just said, you can get away with it for now. At this point, I'm thinking to myself, what am I getting away with? We came to get the more fries and see what was the girl's problem. So I said, you're the manager? No, then go get the manager. I understand people want to stand up for their coworkers, but if somebody says, get the manager, go get the fucking manager. That means you're out of this conversation. You ain't shit. You're out of the conversation. Fuck off. Manager came back, kept apologizing about the fries. Nobody is acknowledging the girl's attitude. By this point, the girl was behind the manager. So pretty much my girl goes off because they're female, so I let them go off. You know what I mean? She was going off on the manager saying, you know, that girl is very rude. She shouldn't be working here, which is true, people. If you don't like your job, don't work there, especially now everywhere is hiring. So there's no reason for people to be at work, especially in fast food, talk about I hate this shit. You get attitude with customers and everything. Everywhere's hiring. So don't give me that bullshit that you got bills and shit. Everywhere's hiring. Do your fucking job. 
I worked fast food almost my whole life. I was a manager in some places, some fast food places and restaurants. Yes, does it get stressful sometimes? Annoying, of course. I've never once went off on a customer, never once. So get it together. So I told her, you know, I pretty much told her, I pick up from here all the time. You know, I don't cause no problems. So this girl always has a problem. When I pick up from there too, that girl always be grilling people. Like people go to work, like, act like they're not supposed to work, which is fucking retarded to me. So that's pretty much the nail on the coffin why I stopped picking up from there. And I'm not picking up from there. It, it hasn't hurt my, my earnings at all. You know, I would get offers like once or twice every other day or something like that. It's not a popular place. You know, Burger King in my area is not popular. Especially for dirty ass workers. They be looking dirty as shit, the majority of them. And everything. You know what I mean? So, uh, I know a lot of people are saying, oh, that shouldn't matter. You should go pick up orders and stuff. Well, to be honest, my earnings went up after I stopped picking up from there. Ironically, which is weird, but... It went up because I guess, you know, I got more focus on other restaurants that uh, popped off because I studied my area. So, yeah, man, I, I, wouldn't, I don't see myself ever picking up on Burger King again. I don't even eat Burger King, to be honest. I won't ever pick up from none of them in my area again. It's different if I try a new area. and I always try at restaurants in new areas. But Burger King is officially the first one in my area that I will not pick up from no matter what. So I hope you guys getting money out there this 4th of July, man. Hope everybody getting good. Everybody's blessed up. Barbecue or you're working, whatever. It's your boy, Mr. VAZ. I'm out. Don't forget to subscribe and God bless y'all.